What is going on, TGG community? It is Poke Collector NYC back at it again. This time with our first ever profit or loss MetaZoo uh, Cryptid Nation edition. So this is the first time we'll be doing a MetaZoo profit or loss. Um, and you know, shout out to my MetaZoo community out there on whatnot. Uh, we do quite a few breaks on whatnot. Uh, today we're gonna be seeing if we could pull some crazy cards. Um, now, first edition is usually great on TCG Player as well as on eBay for in terms of retail prices. Uh, second edition is just really coming out. So like, you know, I, as much as my best of my abilities, when I edit the video, I'll put up the prices of the hits themselves. If they're of, I'm gonna say if they're at least $3 in value, at least three or $4 in value to kind of like see what our hits are. Thanks everybody for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell and smashing that, that like button it does go a long way for poke collector when you smash that like button all right so really it's everything except the box chopper we're going to be seeing the proper loss now currently this box retails for around i'd say about 140 to 150 dollars for second edition um they did do a great announcement that they will also be selling um products of metazoo in walmart and in the da, 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 target so we'll see how that kind of all works out here hang on one second i'm just trying to get the lighting in here perfect all right so we're not going to open the box chopper actually let's open the box chopper but we'll open it and not reveal it till the end we always open the box chopper we always do now the chase in this uh in the box chopper is going to be this year is or this set is blue ink blue ink it's probably like a 12 or ten thousand dollar card or something like that i don't even know what the full value of it is we'll see um, but there are some cool aura. I mean, uh, not aura, but yeah, some auras. Some nice, beautiful art, um, aura factors in there. So we'll see what we get in here. All right. So the way we're going to do this is we're just going to go straight to the hit. Um, and we'll see. Well, not even straight to the hit, but we'll go in here and see at the end here. So we'll, we'll flip it around. Um, if you haven't seen some of the cards, you know, we'll... Um, show you some of the other cards. Sorry, it was a little blurry on there. Can we get a good first hit? Ooh, it's gold. It's a full... Oh, it's a reverse hollow Bigfoot. Okay, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. So some of these will have quite some crazy value in them. Some of them won't. Um, but if you're looking to complete a master set, which we are, you know, this is a great way to do that. Um, if you... Oh, shout out to Blue, e uh, Blue EX and SRG Gaming hey medium third eye not too bad not too bad for being uh patreon members i did forget to mention that in the beginning of the video and i apologize guys they are great patreon members and if you are interested in learning about what patreon members get as part of their membership please check out the link in the description below hey fresno's neck crawlers aka banana pants very nice very nice some of these cards are probably going to go to blue ex anyway blue if you are listening um, be on the lookout for mail this this, uh, this month. We're going to have some epic stuff happen. Um, our chases in here are going to be any Obnoxious 9 or any um, Mothmans or Chaos Crystals. So, Chaos Crystal Full Hollow currently retails for, if you sold it um, as is, is a Full Hollow is about $50. Mothman is about 100 So getting at least one of those will help in total value of the box um i think so far the only thing that has crazy value that we well at least something of uh, value would be that bigfoot so just that bigfoot alone all right let's see what we got here can it be a chessy it's beast of busco no if it was an obnoxious nine that would be awesome but beast of busco we'll take bob we'll take bob the colors in second edition versus first edition definitely pop more they definitely pop more all right we need to go a little bit faster in this video okay black cat the only reason why i'm saying we need to go a little bit faster is just because we're already at the four minute mark and we only opened up a handful of packs so i want to make sure that we don't take up too much of your time in a profit or loss video oh flatwoods monster that is actually a very good one they have will have a ufs ufo set coming out this year so that is definitely gonna be a highly 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 playable card gonna be featured in the set as well all right all right let's just kind of go a little bit faster here hey walking sand full hollow all right how about we reduce the amount of things that we sleep for now until we kind of you know 
get into it a little bit more. All right, three, two, and Eternal Snowflake Reverse. Nothing crazy. We are looking to, obviously, like I said, get a full Hollow Mothman, get a Chaos Crystal. Any Obnoxious Nine would really help as well as we don't have any in our collection. G, G, Bird. Um, a lot of these also is going to go into my Master Set because I don't have a Master Set, a full complete Master Set as of yet. Another cheapy man. We got a lot of reverses. This is a very reverse heavy box right now. But we're hoping to change our luck. And not with that black hole shard. Let's keep it rolling. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, reverse flat woods. We'll take that. We will take that. Come on. Let's get that mothy. Let's get that obnoxious nine. But it's a terror shot. Man, that was a tough one. That is a tough one. At least I'm getting the hits, the reverses we need for a master set. Another black hold shard. Nothing crazy. We need something to save this box, Chad. We need something to save this box. Can we do it? Metal Man of Alabama. That is not going to do it, but it is a pretty cool card. We actually need a few master set. All right, let's keep it rolling. Three, two, and Tizzy. Tizzy's a very nice looking red Gyarados right there. Let's see what we got. Oh, let's do two. Ooh, Quetzal. Nice playable card. Nice playable card. So far, I don't think anything of crazy value as of yet, which is getting me a little nervous. Lizard, not even an obnoxious nine either, which is actually kind of wild when I think about that. Up, oh, up, oh, oh, there you go, fifty dollars. There you go, chaos crystal. We pull, we pull these on the channel. This is definitely going to be one of those that surpasses Mothman down the road, but I will take a Mothman as well. So we got at least $50 in value already right there, which is great, fantastic. Um, it is actually much harder to pull a Mothman in second edition than it is in first edition. I don't know why, I don't question it. Hey, Hoop Snake, there you go. That's not what we wanted to see, but that is okay. That is all righty. I just pulled some more packs out because I just wanted to pull some more packs out. And Bunny Man Reverse. We are looking for that Mothman Full Hollow or a Reverse. I'll take a Reverse, but I would also like to take a Full Hollow because we haven't pulled a Full Hollow out of this set yet. Eternal Snowflake Reverse. All right, come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> full hollow bigfoot we'll take a full hollow bigfoot this is probably like a good let's say eight to ten dollar card full hollow at least so we're going to put that there to the side as well the the big hits i will definitely put to the side i'll take any ob nine as well we have not hit an ob nine hey force god amber we have not hit one of those all box that's not bad let's see what we get here up is it, it it's blood ruby no it wasn't but blood rubies are cool blood rubies are cool three two and mermaid scales all right we are coming down to the bottom of the box um we are probably not there yet when it comes to the value unless we pull up let me see here Oh, it is a Chupacabra. Very nice, very nice. I did see the black border. You always get weird when you see it, or you, you get super excited when you see a black border, but I will take a Chupa. I'll take a Chupa any day of the week. Oop, can we get a growth? Can we get a growth? It's, oh, another full hollow Bigfoot. Okay, all right. Um, I need to leave that. Again, it's like at least an eight to $10 card. So if you say, let's assume it's 10, then you get you know, 20 bucks out of that. 20 plus that 50 right there. You know, I will take that all day plus that 50. We come down to these. We come down to these. Can we pull? 
a Forest God Amber. Okay, full hollow. You know, these are all great cards. We, um, I know that I've not pulled any, surprisingly, no Obnoxious Nine. Uh, and it's a Banana Man. Oh, it's, I didn't even see the silver. I was, I was gonna say, can we get that Samson Claire finally? Let's find out. All right. It is a Cactus Cat. Okay, not what we wanted. All right, we got three packs left. We got three packs. Three packs left. Can we get something wild? Last, last couple packs of magic. It's a silver one, so nothing out of there. It's just a free roll. Terror shot. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, oh my gosh, another Chaos Crystal. All right, wow, that was, uh, that really helped with value. Really helped with value. So, uh, I mean, that's $100 in Chaos Crystals at minimum. You know, we'll take Chaos Crystals. We'll, we will take Chaos Crystals. That is two big bangers right there. So we, we're are actually probably really close to, if I, if I, once I put everything up. All right, last pack. Can we get a Mothman? Can we get a Mothman? We cannot, but we get a Fresno's Night Card of Banana Pants. All right, so with just these four cards alone, we're at about $120 in value, let's just say, or even $116, right? We pay $150, so we, we really needed, you know, about $34 in value, which I think we probably got when it comes to, when it comes to all of these other hits. I mean, I think... We definitely did uh, with some of the full hollows, at least. I mean, let's just assume uh, for reverses. Okay, let's just count it out. I just want to make sure we get it out. So this is probably like four dollars. So let's just say it's 120 flat there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a full hollow. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So $26 in, so that's, it, that's hypothetically at this point, $26 in uh, reverses, which is like, let's just say it was round out to be a dollar each. Um, that puts us at 146. And then let's assume $2 for the full hollows. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So you have $10 there. So 156, right? That's $156. That's a $6 profit um, right there. That's how we're going to do the math. Oh, and we don't have the box topper. So let's see what we got here. We're already in the green. We're already green. Let's see. Three, two, and mountain. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. This is probably a $20 box topper. So, I mean, 176 not too bad at all. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Let me know what you think about these profit or losses for MetaZoo. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell, and smashing that like button. This is Poke Collector NYC, and we'll see you next time.